effortlessly create stunning presentations in just a few clicks, thanks to the help of artificial intelligence. In today's video, we'll be uncovering the best free AI tools to make your very own PowerPoint presentation. Now, there are a ton of options out there that still do offer the ability to turn that AI-generated presentation into a PowerPoint. However, it comes at a cost. So to learn more about those tools, take a look at the link up above. But for now, let's go on with those free versions. All right, first up, we're gonna talk about some features that you can use inside PowerPoint. First up is ClassPoint, which specializes in interactive slide generation. So ClassPoint AI will analyze the information in your PowerPoint file and generate some interactive questions for you to use throughout your presentation. So ClassPoint can be downloaded and installed for free at classpoint.io. And once that's downloaded and installed, you guys will see the Inkno ClassPoint tab here in your PowerPoint ribbon. To access the AI feature, we'll go into our PowerPoint presentation mode here and click on the AI button on the toolbar. From there, we can customize what kind of question we will receive by clicking on the options, selecting which question type you want and which level based on Bloom's taxonomy. That way you're getting a tailor-made question for you and your audience. ClassPoint also supports multi-language support. That way the question that is being generated is in the, in the language that you want to see. So once all of your options are selected, we can go ahead and click generate. ClassPoint AI will analyze your slide and generate a question for you. You can check the answer of this question before inserting it as a slide or generate another one if this one isn't to your liking. But if all looks good, we can save it as a slide in our presentation. And then you can go ahead and begin receiving live responses right away from your audience. Or if you want to, back in PowerPoint edit mode, we can go ahead and adjust this. These are just native PowerPoint text boxes. That way you can adjust the design and the look of this slide to fit the rest of your PowerPoint presentation. To learn more about these interactive quizzes, live audience responses, and generating more of that AI quiz, take a look at the link up above. Next is actually using ChatGPT to help us create our PowerPoint slides. There are a few different ways that this can be done, but I'm gonna show you a very simple version now and then a resource at the end that you can take a look at to learn more. So to get started, we will paste a prompt into ChatGPT for ChatGPT to write a VBA PowerPoint code on a specific topic. So we can type in our topic and then the number of slides that you want it to produce. We'll go with seven, then click enter and ChatGPT will begin generating that VBA code. So VBA code is just Microsoft's programming language. Don't worry, ChatGPT does all the work so it's super easy. Once it's done, we just need to copy it and paste it into PowerPoint. Perfect, we'll go ahead and copy all of this code. Then open up any blank PowerPoint file in your developer tab, we'll click Visual Basic, and then we just need to paste that code inside, click the play button and the macro will run and generate a PowerPoint file for us. It is a very simple PowerPoint file. However, you can use PowerPoint's designer tool to totally upgrade this. Now, that was a really quick run through. So to learn more about this, I go through all of that step-by-step step and make it a little bit better in the link up above. Our next free tool is Magic Slides. And Magic Slides is actually an add-on for Google Slides. We all know how easy it is to turn Google Slides into PowerPoint files. So to get access to this, go to magicslides.app. You can install it into your Google. And from there, when you're in a blank Google Slides that's open, click on extensions and you'll be able to see the Magic Slides extension there. We'll click the generate PPT and it will take a minute to load up and then it will open up this side panel here. So it's a little bit similar to what we just did with ChatGPT where you can add in a prompt that they supply for you here. You can have it summarize a text for you or you can enter using your own text. So we'll go with this option and to keep all of our information the same for these next tools that we're gonna test, I will we'll use the importance of um, the ecosystems here. We can paste that in. We can use this reference text. And let's keep it to our seven slides. We can replace the existing and then click generate. 
And once that's all done, we can take a look and see what is provided. So it's nice to see we have some different layout options. However, editing is a little bit difficult because you will have to do that manually. And there are some images added, which is great to see from Pexels, which is high quality uh, stock images. So you don't have to worry about any licensing issues. Just make sure you go through and look. Sometimes some of the images that are added don't exactly go along with your content, um, which is also to say that you should always double check your content when working with AI to make sure it is exactly what you're looking for. But this is a great starting off point. So let's turn this into a Microsoft PowerPoint file. From there, we just go to file, download, click Microsoft PowerPoint. And once it's downloaded, we can open this up to take a look and adjust any formatting or design issues that appear as well. For more information on turning Google Slides into PowerPoint files and vice versa, take a look at the link up above. Our next option is with our favorite design tool and free for educator tool, Canva. Canva has a handy new AI feature that can turn any Canva doc into a presentation. So go ahead and open up a Canva document. So you can start out blank, add in your own information, or if you already have a worksheet or a document created, you can use that as well. So here I have our same importance of the ecosystems information that we used in the last example. And up on the right, next to the share button, we see convert. So we can go ahead and just click that, select get started. We can choose a design. So if we have our brand options or different template styles that you see, let's go ahead and click this one, has a little bit of green, works with our theme here and just click create presentation. It will open up a, another tab in a new document for us with that presentation. So you can scroll through and then use Canva's easy drag and drop features to go ahead and design this in the way that you want. There is quite a few texts on some of these slides, so I'll definitely have to go through and update that. But those updates can also happen back in PowerPoint. So to change this into a PowerPoint presentation, click on share. Instead of clicking download, we're gonna click more and scroll down until you get to the save category and click on Microsoft PowerPoint. So you can have it do all the pages, click download, and it will download as a PowerPoint file. You may be familiar with SlidesGo as your go-to place for downloading PowerPoint templates, but they also have their own AI presentation maker tool. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out. So within SlidesGo, we can go ahead and get started creating an AI presentation. We just need to type in our general topic. We can select a writing tone. So we're gonna pick casual. Language, you can change up your language. We'll just do English and we'll change this to our seven slides. Then you have the option to choose one of these six templates to get started. We'll do minimalist here and then we can just click generate and slides go will work on creating that presentation for you. Once it's done, we can check out the content that they've created for us. So we have some different layouts with images here that we can all be edited with their side panel here. So once you're at this point, it is a little familiar to Canva. So if you know one or the other, it'll be a breeze to totally update this as you need. So you can change your text, add more elements or different elements, different icons or vectors or images, as well as different videos. Once all of the editing is done and you're ready to transform this to a PowerPoint presentation, we just need to click on the download file and you'll see that the PowerPoint option is for the premium plan. However, remember, I did say that all of these tools we could turn into PowerPoints for free. So instead, we're going to click on PDF. We can download that and then transform our PDF into a PowerPoint file. For more information on how to do that, check out the video linked up above. Now for our last tool, we're gonna to be using Simplified. So Simplified is a multifunctional AI tool. So there's actually lots of different things that you can generate with the help of AI. But today we're just gonna be focusing on that presentation maker. So once you've signed into a free account on Simplified, we are going to be in the design space here. So once we're there, we can click generate with AI and we're gonna generate an AI presentation. So similar to all the other tools that we've just taken a look at, we can go ahead and type in the presentation prompt or the topic that we want to use. And now Simplify does have some advanced options that we can take a look at. So we have some creativity levels here. Let's go ahead and just use creative. Number of results, let's pick two, and you have the option for a different language for your output. From there, we can go ahead and click next and decide on a template to get started. So you can scroll through, pick one that you want to see and click generate. 
Now we can take a look at what it came up with. So we have 11 different slides with all, a whole bunch of generated information on the importance of ecosystems. We can change up the template over here on the side as well as our text, adding different media options. So some of the templates you'll find after a while do get pretty familiar and similar, all of the ones looking the same. However, there is a huge library of different things that you can add into your presentations as well as their built-in AI image generator. That way you can design images fit exactly for your presentation. And one thing to note with this free option, you do have 10 credits that you can use to generate images or what we're going to be using it for to keep this as a free option for us is when you want to export this to a PowerPoint file, we're actually going to do what we did with SlidesGo and export it as a PDF. So a PDF is new, but it is a premium option. But luckily we have those 10 credits, so we can go ahead and do that, convert that PDF into a PowerPoint file. So all these AI tools are here to make your life easier and your slides a little more captivating. I hope one of these tools caught your eye, but if you're still a little bit confused on which one to use, let me break it down for you. For generating interactive slides, use ClassPoint. For full content generation, use ChatGPT. Use Magic Slides when you want both Google Slides and PowerPoint Slides from a bunch of different text prompts. Use Canva for better, easier design that is super efficient. For probably the best templates, go with SlidesGo. And to pair the AI presentation maker with an AI image generator, use Simplified. Other than that, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, that way you'll be updated whenever ClassPoint releases another video. Thanks for watching!